You know what sucks when you have like a right on the end of your nose and then it kind of turns into the that spot and that will never go away, I'm sure. I'm fetching the lights off. That's kind of interesting. Ooh. Oh, get ravey, get ravey. Patriotic. I should have done it two days ago. Ooh. This is probably not going to translate at all. Whoa! The camera sure doesn't know what to do. That's pretty cool. Uh oh! Now I gotta find my thing. And that'll take forever. Oh, no, here it is. They all have little tabs in them. Oops. Pull. This, uh, this one's a little different because you, you're supposed to pull it out for the batteries to make contact, but this requires... Oops. And then I'll never get to work. Somehow this actually helps the batteries make contact. All right. Well, that was fun. Hey, it's Thursday, and it all depends where the light source is. Is the light source me? It's pretty cool. This is mostly for Cerebus, who says I don't play enough with the flashing things. Uh, or the gimmicky gadgets I have around here. There was a kiosk at the Mall of America selling these one year. I'm sure it's not there anymore. Have I told you the story? And so Kim bought me like two dozen of these. And they're all over. And it's not only these, it's, there's also that flashing one. You remember the flashing one, that's these over here. Yeah. I've got more things that run on little tiny batteries. And I actually did go to, where did I go? Was it Amazon or eBay? Some place where you could get like a bunch of batteries in bulk from an Eastern Asian country. So you don't know if the quality is that good, but there's like a hundred of them for a buck, so you can't complain for the price. And usually it's me forgetting to turn these things off. So I'm down to this many batteries from my Made in China tray. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 50 batteries, and I've got 9 left. And it's mostly due to the fake candles. Hey, which are working, so that's good. Like one day I left all these on, so that accounts for about you know, 29 battery or 27 batteries. I think these take three. I think these take two. Let's leave that one on. We'll see if I remember to turn it off uh, later. Uh, it is Thursday. It's the day after a holiday. You can tell because I've just got no inclination to work at all. And I did wear my Walmart. Stop running into this cabinet down here. It's so noisy. My under $6 Walmart shirt that is not a flag, therefore I'm not wearing a flag flea, so don't bring it up. Uh, and a lot of people took today off, and I wish I had. If, if I had known there wasn't going to be so much work that I probably could have gotten away with skipping today and not being overwhelmed on Monday, I will start over. Because 
there is such a light amount of work today, it would have been okay for me to take today off. And coming back Monday, I wouldn't have been immediately overwhelmed by all the stuff I'd skipped because all the other people are off too. So as a result, it's just me trying to catch up on my email. I read all my email when it comes in, but when I, uh, I need to get it sorted and stashed away before the email archiver eats it. Got some weird stuff going on. So I filter everything into folders, and this week I've gotten through February. So I'm only, I've only got four months to get through. The good news is I'm, I'm fine for July. The bad news is July is only five days in. But, you know, if you, stay, if you stick with it, eventually you'll catch up to the point where you've done the work already, and it'll all work out. So really, four months, that's not too bad. If I really try hard and apply myself, I can get through a month's worth of email in three or four hours. I don't know why I keep all this stuff. I'm a pack rat. Because I'm always called upon at the weirdest times to produce the weirdest documentation or prove that someone asked me to do some boneheaded thing that I went ahead and did because they asked me to. It's like, hey, just swallow well orders, folks. It wasn't me. So that's kind of what I've been doing this week, catching up. 6.06 p.m. and it's currently 92 degrees. That's actually cool for this week. Yesterday hit 101, a record. A record for July 4th for Minneapolis. And uh, didn't do much of anything. I, I sat around and I watched TV and I was on the internet. It's just as well that I didn't take today off because after spending all day on the internet yesterday, what would I have done today? I'm dangerous if I spend too much time on the internet. I start contacting people and talking to them. and That's the last thing anybody needs. I was going to go see the fireworks, but when it was still in the 90s at 10 p.m., it was like, oh gosh, you know, these ones I just saw on TV are really good. Uh, kind of switch between the Boston ones and the Manhattan ones. The Manhattan ones hold a special place in my heart because the, in 2000 I actually sat on a bench near the river and watched them with my wife, who was not my wife at the time, but it's a little different watching them on TV, go figure. The Boston ones I always watch, they're awesome. Michael Chiklis did not sing, sadly, but he was a, a fair enough MC. I miss Jennifer Hudson, sorry. I can't wait for Jennifer Hudson and David Otunga to get married and start looking like each other, because they kind of start looking like each other already. Here's to you. I just realized I forgot to log this. I'll do that afterwards. Go to crz.net to figure out what timestamp I put on this Diet Dr. Pepper. When did I go get it? I always seem to get them and then not open them for about 20 minutes, which is fine because they're so insanely cold they even hurt my hand. And I don't need, you know, below freezing Dr. Pepper. If I were outside, I might think differently. 92. Oof. This heat wave is supposed to break on Friday. It will rain, and then it will be cooler, which is good, because the inside of the house is just getting unbearable. And I have not quite figured out how to time it so that it, we ever get any cool air in there. And it hasn't been cool. Our daily high, well, let's ask the, the weather bug. I mean, at midnight, it was still 88. What temperature did it get down to? Oh, it got down to 79. It's hardly worth opening the window when it's 79 out. Although, when it's 86 inside... Maybe you should. I don't know. I don't like it when the house gets that hot. I think things start expanding that shouldn't expand, and then I start worrying because the house is 100 years old. Although, the house being 100 years old can probably withstand any of this stuff, and I have nothing to worry about. And that's my babbling for Thursday. we got one day left this week. Again, another day I should probably be taking off, but a day when I will probably be sorting mail. But I'm around if you need me. I'm at all the usual places. So please leave a comment and I will talk to you. Sort of. I'll talk and yeah, you know. But thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for sticking around and I'll see you 
tomorrow.